Hi everyone, welcome to G-Labs. In this video, we are going to talk about switches. If you haven't done so, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to G-Labs for more videos like this. Switches are very simple devices. They don't have a complex protocol in place. All they do is select between an open circuit and a short circuit. Simple. But simple as it may be, it is also one of the most functional devices in a system. Just imagine using a calculator with no keys or a deadly robot with no kill switch. Switches are electronic components that control the current flow of a circuit without having need to manually cut the wires. These are critical components to any circuit that requires user control. A switch has two states, open or closed. If it is in the off state, it looks like an open gap in the circuit. In effect, it looks like an open circuit that prevents current from flowing. In the on state, the switch is like a conducting wire. This closes the circuit, allowing current to flow to all the devices. There are different types of switches available. Toggle, rotary, tip, push button, rocker, to name a few. Each of those types has a unique set of characteristics to differentiate it from others. Characteristics like the action that would cause it to flip the switch or the number of circuits that the switch can control. The following are some of the basic switch characteristics. Actuation A physical action that occurs to flip the switch's state. This is one of the more defining character of a switch. Switch actuation can come from pushing, sliding, rocking, rotating, throwing, pulling, key turning, magnetizing, any physical interaction which causes the mechanical linkage inside the switch to change contacts. Momentary or maintain. All switches fall into one of these categories. Maintain switches stay in one state until actuated into a new one and then remain in that state until actuated once again. An example is a light switch on your wall. Momentary switches only remain active as long as they are actuated. If not actuated, they remain in their off state. Examples for this type are keys on the piano. Mounting style Like majority of the electronic components, the termination style of a switch always comes down to either surface mount or through-hole. Through-hole switches are larger in size. These are the types used to fit the breadboard for easy prototyping, while surface mount switches are significantly smaller. Surface mount switches are usually found on circuit boards. We also have panel mount switches, which are popular mounting style when you need to add a switch that sits outside an enclosure. And the last characteristic that I will mention is its internal circuit management. Single pole, single throw, or SPST. Double pole, single throw, or DPST, to name a few. The number of poles available on a switch defines how many circuits the switch can control. A switch with a single pole can control only one circuit, while a double pole switch can control two circuits. The switch's number of throw indicates how many positions each of the pole can connect to. For example, if a switch is a double throw, then each pole can be connected to two terminals. Knowing a switch's characteristic is helpful when choosing one that will fit your project. Was the video helpful? Did we miss something? Or is there a particular topic you would like us to cover? Please let us know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you on our next video.